Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome, welcome back to the live stream. How's everybody doing today? We are diving in with the newly released uh, Company of Heroes free mission alpha that they dropped yesterday, I believe. It allows you to play basically the first mission of the Africa campaign. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to some Company of Heroes 3 when it does fully release. And I think it also got a bit of a release date as well. Um, which is kind of cool. So yeah, I think if you go to the store page really quickly. Um, it does actually have a release date. Um, of like when it's coming out somewhere. I think they announced that as well. I think it's like December time or November. Up here it says 13th of July. But that's because uh, that's when this came out, the alpha. I think the actual game also has uh, also has a release date now as well. If I go over to like this company of Heroes 3 and then we pull this back up. Uh, yeah, I believe, yeah, this is uh, 17th of November. So it's what, like four months away? Four months away? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four months away, basically to the day uh, this can be coming out. So that's going to be pretty exciting to see. Uh, exactly what the game does have to offer. We've already had a multiplayer alpha and a few others. Um, but what I'm really looking forward to is the kind of Total War style campaign. Hopefully they've gone in and they've uh, developed back quite a bit. Because, yeah, that should be pretty goddamn cool. But how's it going, Hassan? Welcome. Uh, Risto, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, as I just said, dog owner, it's not out quite yet. Raiden, how's it going, my dude? Captain Dacus as well. It's good to see you. Crisis, my guy. Uh, playing the DAC mission, I see. Yes, we are playing the uh, the Deutsch African Corps. Is that what that stands for? Something along them lines. Um, what's the game about? It's like an RTS uh, kind of t uh, war, uh, World War Two game. Uh, yeah, life's going pretty good, son. Life's going pretty good. How's it going, Raymond? As well, welcome at the gym today. Uh, I've been trying to like really push uh, like kind of heavier weights. On my, my deadlifts because uh, I don't want to plateau at my 141 rep max. I know a lot of people kind of do get around that number and then they kind of really slow down. So I've really been trying to go for like strength training at the gym. And today I was pretty happy with it. I pushed to 110 kilograms uh, kg. And I did like three. I did. So I, I warmed up with uh, 40 kg for 10. Uh, then 70 kg for 8. And then I did one 10 for four, then for five, and then for three. And then I did a kind of a drop set as well. Um, so at 70 again. So I'm really trying to incorporate kind of these these kind of heavy weights so that when I do come to do 145 or 150 kg, it's like not going to be scary. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think things are going pretty well with that. My back is going to hurt tomorrow though for sure. Definitely. My squat my squat isn't great. I kind of have really bad mobility in my, my ankles and my hips. Um but I squat I squat like I haven't really one rep maxed my squat in a in a long time. I haven't one rep maxed my squat in a long time, uh, but I've been kind of doing slow reps at 70 kg. So kind of like really taking it, trying to get my form perfect, like down, hold for a couple seconds and then boost up. So my, my, my one rep max squat was probably like 100 kg, probably. Just really trying to get that deep squat in. Can we see the muscles? Uh, no, you can only do that if you uh, check out my only fans. Yo, how's it going, Josh? Welcome, my guy. Is this single player? Yes, but it will have a multiplayer, obviously, on, on launch. And we'll probably get a, an open beta as well for multiplayer at some point, I would imagine. How's it going, Ireland? Welcome. Good to see you live. Hell yeah, dude. Good to have you in the chat. Um, I actually caught a stream as well. Hell yeah, Vladison. Good to see you back as well, my guy. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, so this is the uh, brand new alpha. It's just one mission. I assume the mission's like an hour long. I, I think you've played it right, Crisis. Uh, how long did it take you to complete it? I assume it's going to be like an hour long-ish. Um, so we might have to go do something else afterwards. Might play some War Tales. Or maybe we can continue on the Hearts of Iron campaign we were doing. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think this will take up the entire time. Or maybe it'll just be a short stream today. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I will just kind of cut this off when this ends. Uh, I've got some other stuff to record as well. How's it going, Hayden? Welcome, Jack, as well. Uh, good to see you guys here. How are you guys doing today? 
Uh, yeah, so we'll just let a few more people filter in. Also, if you guys don't know, we do have a, a brand new merch store up and running with some brand new official Jackie Fish merch. No, none of this uh, fake merch. Uh, so if you guys want to check out the merch store, uh, you can do so by clicking the pinned comment. That will go ahead and take you over. Um, that'll take you over to uh, this and you can kind of check them out. You can go directly to the Teesprings uh, where it is up and uh, check out all the different designs. And uh, yeah, I'm going to recommend going to the actual view store. Oh, whoa, that's my dashboard. Don't want to see that. But you can go to the actual store and check everything out uh, for yourself. Link to it is also down below in the description. But as you can see, we have a handful of designs in there. Uh, the knight on the back with a little sword on the front. Uh, we have plenty of different designs. I do recommend though, if anybody is planning on purchasing any of the merch, do go a size up. I bought some samples and I think for the most part, uh, I could have probably gone a size up from what I normally am. Um, so I recommend doing that just to be on the safe side. Um, I haven't actually got the premium t-shirt, but I think this is the one I'd recommend. I'd recommend the hoodie and the premium t-shirt I think are quite cool. I also really like the long sleeves as well. Uh, there's, there's a long sleeve for the nine sword as well. Uh, that just isn't on here. Um... But yeah, I really like the long sleeves as well. So yeah, check it out. Uh, also, if you, you if you go to the Discord or in the community tab uh, really quickly, there is also a discount code for 5% off as well. So if you go to my community tab, you can find a discount code, get yourself 5% off. Uh, and I really appreciate it. Anybody who does purchase merch, it really does help the channel out. Um, and I am yeah, really grateful. So thank you to anybody who does plan on, uh, on grabbing that up. Play Skyrim? Uh, yeah, not, not going not gonna to be a thing we play. How's it going, Jason, as well? Welcome, Blast. Uh, most random dude as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going, Jack? Um, and everybody else entering. And how's it going, Sonic, as well? Welcome. The uh, sub counter is bugged? Uh, no, it just takes a little while to load up again. It normally takes weights until someone becomes a member, uh, and then it kind of sorts itself out. But I, I dread to think what we're on. After the huge gifted members we had, we're probably on like a hundred and something now. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely for them. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, dive into Hi, it. Hi, I'm Steve. Hi, Executive Steve. Producer. How's it going, my guy? Try and pronounce your name? Uh, sure. Um, Abdullah? Is that how I pronounce it? Hopefully I got it right. Apologies if I didn't. My pronunciation is not great. Uh, yes, I would not like to quit um, the game whatsoever. So I'm hoping the uh, perform perform performance was pretty bad last time, but hopefully they've improved. But I think they've capped it a bit as well. I don't know what that resolution is, but we'll just accept it. <laughs> Why not? Uh, and then we'll turn the music down a little bit. Speech volume down. Hey, DBA, how's it going, my guy? Thank you so much for the uh, membership, man. I really appreciate that. Couple of music. Did it just reset? Bro. Down with you. Thank you so much for the four months, man. I really appreciate that. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you are all good, my guy. Oh, still 257 members. And that's going to drop, I think, this stream. How do you get the alpha, may I ask? Uh, I believe you have to go on their website. I mean, you just have to sign up for it, and then you're good to, good to grab it. Then it just gives you a file to download on Steam, um, and you're good to go. Thank you so much for a membership, though. I really appreciate that. Okay, are we ready? Uh, are we ready um, to go ahead and dive in? Everybody here who wants to be here, if you're not here, say something in the chat. <laughs> We're just get started. Crisis said this mission takes about 30 minutes to an hour, uh, which is cool. I might, as I said, I might just keep this as kind of like a a mini thing and then maybe just edit down the uh, the stream, like download the stream. We can also just record as well. Hey, how's it going, Panther? Welcome. Or I might just leave it up as a stream and people can check it out. Arizes isn't here. God damn it. All right, let, let me know when you're here, Arizaz, and I, I, I'll start, okay? Just let me know when you're here, and I'll, I'll start. We'll wait on you, okay? How's it going, Paul? Welcome.
Did I not save the music again? I feel like it's so loud. Okay, Arrows is here, so let's start. Uh, yeah, the holiday was really, really good. Thank you for asking, Panther. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, I've explained quite a bunch in the in the in the in the streams. Um, I want to try and keep this a little bit more kind of game focused. But yeah, it was great. The British aren't ready. <laughs> hey, random dude! Thank you so much for being twelve months, man. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. 12 months is a long time, man. Our year anniversary. Thank you so much. He says, sea cucumbers are animals, not vegetables. <laughs> tea tree. Tea tree. Yeah, well, it's uh, the, the British in this game are the Commonwealth. It's more so the Commonwealth than the British. So there's Indian troops. There's, uh, there's Australians, Canadians, uh, probably Gurkhas. Uh, do you know, tons, of, tons of soldiers throughout the throughout the commonwealth uh cool let's go let's get stuck in italian troops have engaged the british forces nearby they're fighting hard but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed we need to provide support by pushing forward with our panzers Okay, so we've got two panzers here. Panzers, sorry, these are what panzer freeze? Oh, frame rate's a little bit choppy. Can I move the camera like this? Oh. Okay, so we've got some what panzer freeze? This is what like 1940, right? So Skull Soul. Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh sorry, what? How how are, we, how are we playing an RTS game? Sorry to stop it. How are we playing an RTS game in 2022 and the arrow keys are still used to move the game? Is there a way to change that? Like what? Controls. Bro. Like what? How... <laughs> I understand that there's hotkeys and stuff, but how in like how am I supposed to get to the hotkeys when my my fingers are on the arrow keys? Like Whatever. <laughs> Let's not complain. <laughs> Complaining is for the losers. But like come on, it's twenty twenty two relic. Like nobody's using that. That's, uh, that's, oh my god. Like, what the hell? Lit it's literally unplayable. So let's get up them. We've got our infantry here. They want me to, what, to throw... Like, how Like how am I supposed to, like, hotkey... I mean, I guess they want you just to do, like, this. To move around and stuff, but... Let's get these guys off as well. Yeah? Can you guys disembark, please? How do I disembark? The I have, cool. Give the MG here. We need wanted to push up. We have the Panzers as well. Don't we need to drop smoke? God, the fact that it's not WASD to move around is kind of crazy, right? So the, the performance isn't isn't rocking great, but it's because I am streaming, right? So that's also going to be it. And the game is an alpha. Right over here. Okay, can do. So it's obviously just giving me the, uh, the basics. Let's form up here. Let's get a grenade in. Cool, AT gun down. Are you guys in the fire? Hopefully, okay, pull back to the trenches. We have what, two panzers we can engage with? We'll send one round here and one round there. Though to be fair, this panzer, yeah, panzer freeze it says down there. This is what, a Stuart? Shouldn't be too difficult to take on the Stuart. We uh, probably. I mean, that's not quite sloped armor. 
because they, they oh my god what are you doing shoot because they added in they've added in like side armor hits and stuff into this you know okay. yeah so you can see because i hit him in the side of the armor it's much easier to hit him and i imagine rear armor is also quite a thing as well hey how's it going uh uh Balin as well welcome uh so destroy british armor oh there's a tank over there that's like a what a valentine maybe there's anti-tank traps there. We'll leave the infantry inside the uh, fences. I'll take this guy on from the side. Cool. We're not really doing much damage to him. What does that mean as well? Focus vehicle enabled? Yeah. Cool. We are, we are bouncing from this. Oh, it's a heavy tank. Do we have any AT grenades? Obviously, the game is, like, designed to... This is, like, a tutorial mission, so they are just letting me hit them. Cool. Let's go take this objective now, because I'm a pro gamer. Hey, how's it going, Swedish? Welcome, my guy. How's it going, Swedish? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh. Some of the more British armor. But we should be more than capable of taking out. Oh, it also seems like there's a mortar crew over here as well. Let's push one there. The mortar is hitting us. Let's just go run it over. Can you not run over? Can you not run over the mortar? There you go. And that's the mission, guys. <laughs> okay, Italians have been now destroyed. Is there a retreat to hub button? We haven't got that quite yet. Okay. Okay, basically encircle the British. Can't be too hard. Uh, how, how's it going, Swedish? How you doing today? Cool. I, I still can't believe WASD is not like a staple in this game. Like, how many keys must there be that you can't like find other hotkeys? <laughs> That's crazy to me. Alright, see you later, Abdul um, Abdullah. Sorry, I'm butchering your name. See you later, man. Okay, so we've got some engineers now. Send them up. We have a hub. Yeah, we have hub. We have uh, infantry production. We can pause it as well and tactical queue up a little bit. Okay, so what, what do we have? So we have hub. We also have, what, vehicles? So securing the oil would be good, even though we don't have any right now. Uh, and we've just got infantry, some panzer grenadier squads, which is fine. Are these F1, F2 as well? Yeah, nice they are cool. Uh, okay, and then we've got what's this? Auto reinforcement enabled for sure. Let's have a rally point up here as well. Uh, yeah, so let's get another Panzer Grenadier squad on the go. Because we can't afford this. Yeah, we, have, we haven't got quite that enabled yet. Okay, cool. Seems fine for me. I want an orderly advance. Just control one of these guys. I assume we're not going to run into anything as we take this point. Even though the Italians are. Entrenched, but getting hit there. Cool. Let's get these bad boys up here. Uh, auto replenishment on, please. I guess we won't spam them. We can also get a support gun, which I guess we'll just grab. As well. Uh, so probably should send the Panzer Grenadiers off to the right hand side. I mean, that looks like it's a little bit more entrenched over to the right. Uh, what, 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 why would you, why would you not pick? 
so what you can you can pick to either do a fucking tank with a flamethrower or a support gun. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the tank with a support gun, right? What will it be? So we're gonna infantry gun. And we can't go over to the right hand side. What? Yeah, you know. No? Wait. Oh, up here, maybe? Where does it want me to do it? Restore a wrecked vehicle? Is it here? Oh, here. Yeah, I mean, we definitely... Yeah, I definitely grabbed the tank. Just, I guess we'll start pushing up here a bit as well and get that tank repaired. Yeah, definitely do the uh, the flame panzer free with flamer. Your two days of vacation, hell yeah, dude. You got any big plans? Come on. Doesn't seem like that tank is pushing us back. Let's go support the Italians. I mean, there's no way we break that, right? The infantry gun just really just bounces off of it. You have any ATs? You have some ATs. Let's get the empty gun up there. I mean, I guess we'll try and hold this. I don't really hope too much for it, but... Oh, and we need the engineers as well. Let's get the engineers back. Oh, we also get, just got get, given another tank as well. Oh, look at this. <laughs> There's a bit of a glitch going on right here. It's repairing this assault gun. Right now, it's funny. Uh, so let's get the engineers back uh, really quickly. I'll take these guys on one. Oh, they have a mortar squad over there. Oh, there's also an AT gun here as well. Are these some of the Italian forces? Yeah. They're repairing back now, which is good. Oh, we also got the support tank as well. I guess we can just get both. We up our tanks. Uh, let's go and throw a grenade on this. Uh, well, there's an AT gun here. We might as well mount this. Utilize this against any uh, British armor. Uh, we'll send this back to repair. We'll just set the AT. Oh, God, I can't believe WASD isn't a... Just set like the AT gun there, the infantry gun. Look at these dudes as well, they're shirtless. Goddamn crazy Germans. Uh, yeah, and then this obviously needs to be repaired, so we'll back it up. We've got a flame tank as well. And our repair vehicle can just chill. Awesome. Can we recruit anybody else? We can get another AT gun. A medium truck. Oh, that's it, right? Yeah. Oh, that flame is brutal. AT gun is just chilling, covering that point nicely. Uh, it's not a bad idea to maybe have a support gun down here as well. And then what, these boys are back. Oh, we also have what? Uh, kind of strafe. Cool, if we need it. We'll utilize that. Keep the engineers nice and close. The infantry can get up here as well. Oh, nice. We have a support gun as well. So the, the bad boy tanks will just roll up and overrun the enemy. We've got that AT gun here. Don't know what, how big is it. It was only a two pounder. That was going to pierce too much of the enemy lines. But I have some range in here. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't want to go too far up here. I want to keep this here. Just try and get like a... Hey, really not in range? I think we're like just out of range here. Do you fight as the Anzac in this? So the Anzac are in this. In the so there's two so there's two campaigns in Company of Heroes three. They have this more real like they have this more kind of old school style of campaign. It's more of like a linear. You play this mission, then you play your next mission, and then you play the next mission. And then they also have a 
a Total War style campaign where it's a campaign map, you're moving around battalions around the campaign map, and then you dive into these Company of Heroes style battles, which will be focused in Italy. I'm really looking forward to that, um, more so than anything else. Uh, that and multiplayer. Uh, for sure I'm looking forward to and I will be covering company of heroes uh, free on launch and also any time we get before it So if you guys uh, maybe are new to the channel uh, and you're not subscribed Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll be covering company of heroes uh, a lot And I want to be I want to do the campaign at the, the cool I want to do the campaign and I also want to do uh, lots of multiplayer as well uh, you know as much multiplayer as we can so I want to keep the engineers a little bit safer, but these uh, These panzer grenadiers can go up and garrison that And yeah, we, we unfortunately lost the manpower building. Oh, here we go. Oh, we are destroying that Stuart. Stuart is just charging me, though. Boom. Hell yeah. Oh, we're engaging. We've engaged. A side hit me as well, the AT gun. Okay, what's the reverse button here? Is there a reverse? It's R, right? Yeah, reverse up, please. Uh, we will stick these guys in. And we'll get the rest of our tanks as well. Oh my god, look at that destruction! Awesome! So we've got our Panzer Grenadiers in there. We'll bring up you guys. Got damn British mortars as well. Brutal. Right, let's get this repaired and we'll bring up our other assault gun as well, right? We have one back here. Kind of outflank a little bit here. Some riflemen in the building. Hey, Tim, how's it going, dude? I haven't seen you in the chat in ages. How have you been? <laughs> building destruction. So, yeah, one of the new features of the game is you can now garrison buildings, I think, way more effectively, uh, which is cool. Let's just push up a little bit more. We're going to get in this... Uh... Oh, my God, we're just start burning them out. Yeah, flame tanks are going to be huge. Uh, do we not carry him capture this yet? Learning all the hotkeys is going to be a, an interesting thing as well. You're just going to we're just going to relax. Sounds sounds uh, yeah pretty nice. Cabello, the Italians and the British are just throwing people on this objective, as we just conquer land. Keep the engineers up here. Uh, we'll hotkey all of our our bad boys here, and then I will hotkey you. Yeah. We also have this assault gun as well, which I guess we'll just deploy here to kind of cover this flank. When you guys go there. But yeah, learning all the hotkeys is going to be pretty interesting. Um, when's the next Life of the Necromancer? The final episode already came out. I've already done the final episode. Um, yeah, it's already released. Let's go and conquer that oil position as well. Keep the engineers up here in case we need any healing. But yeah, I'm I'm uh, personally really really looking forward to coming to Heroes Free. Can we uh, recruit anything else? No, we oh we're at our supply cap. That's why. We got a British plane coming in. Yeah, we got a recon plane. I assume. I doubt they're gonna strafing run me. Uh, let's just move up here and cover this. And I guess whilst we're waiting, we can then push up these tanks. Oh oh oh. <laughs> Okay, do we have to upgrade the Panzer? Oh, oh my god, we basically just got that gun. That AT gun. Uh, let's be very careful. Let's back up the tanks. Where is an AT gun here? Okay. But we do we do have this. This should be able to actually smash it. I mean, it is only a two pounder, right? Oh god, why did you guys do that? Why isn't the, uh, the gun here? a very uh we strafing run that maybe yeah let's strafing run that let's bring him a Luftwaffe that did no damage oh the second round came in come on is enough to kill it no not quite and we're just smashing the uh the enemy armor here as well yeah, you got some Gurkhas up there as well. Yeah, Gurkha rifle squads. Uh, okay, so it wants me to upgrade these bad boys to check out the advanced field craft. Yeah, yeah. 
I just missed that. And then they should be able to take that. And you guys can get a machine gun. Sure. Let me guess. Winter coats? <laughs> no, we're not in Russia. Don't you worry about that. Uh, do they bring up base building? Uh, no more than this. No, pretty much no. There's a brand new big mega campaign though that isn't quite this. Are we just not in range here? It'd be nice if I could see my range, honestly. There you go. That should be in range, right? There you go. Infantry weapon. Take out their AT. Perfect. I mean, it says we have to be worried about these AT guns, uh, these AT mines, but I think we should be fine. Uh, let's also throw these guys up as well. And you guys can obviously detect all these mines. Let's go. Move your feet. Yeah. We've got our orders. Now move out. Yeah. And then we can see them. So can we just disable them now? And that'll open up this path, which will be nice. Yeah, cool. So we're going to disable all these mines. Not that they're really that much of an issue. And then good old tank squad can just move up. You guys have a machine gun now as well. Yeah. Oh <laughs> my god. I mean, you guys are actually getting hit. Okay, there's a tank there. Let's turn and face that. Okay, let's pull back a little bit there. Our flame tank just can just chill. They are pushing, though. Uh, you guys probably just need to run back, which is fine. Don't get my AT gun if you guys can. The assault gun just going in. Should be enough. Yeah, nice. Now we have another AT gun. We're just stealing all the British equipment, which is nice. And you guys run back as well. The infantry gun, which we'll push up. And then we have an infantry gun here. Sorry, we have an AT gun guarding that point. And then you guys can just cover this kind of more open space. Uh, let's get you back. Let's bring up the assault gun. The flame panzer can move in to take out that squad. You guys can just go there. Infantry gun can sit there. Perfect. How's it going, Squiddy? A uh, place to visit. Def Jackie streams every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yes, I do indeed, for anybody who asks. Um... Hey, Jackie, I'm having my holiday in the UK for two weeks. Have any tips on must things to do? Or, I mean, it depends where you're going. If you're going in more in the south, then obviously London. I assume you're going to probably London, right? Uh, Brighton is pretty nice. Um, there's loads of castles in the south as well. So stuff like Arundel Castle is, uh, very, if you're a, that's what you're into, I think Arundel Castle was a must visit because it's huge. Um, there's zoos around as well, which is always fun. Um, yeah, so Brighton's a good seaside town. Kind of those things, and obviously all the, the traditional stuff in in London sightseeing um, is always really cool. There's lots to see in in, in London. You, know, you got the London Dungeons and Buckingham Palace, Houses of Parliament, Big Ben. Cool. Oh my god, the flamer is so broken. I love it. Uh, cool. Are you guys back yet? You're replenishing. Good. I like I like the auto replenish, honestly. It was like, why would I ever not want to auto replenish? Also, I love that we have these two AT guns just sitting here. Uh, yeah, these tanks need to be replenished, though. So you guys are okay. We'll wait for these engineers to get healed. We may need to come up and come and heal this ASAP. God, imagine if I uh, I lost the tank. That'd be embarrassing. Which would be fine. I guess we'll shift over this AT gun just to cover this whilst my tanks are repairing. So we'll repair. There's also what, a machine gun here or something? Get these guys up here. There's something here. I don't know what, what's here, but there's something is, is here. Company of Heroes looks too cartoony. I mean, it does definitely have more of a arcadey uh, vibe to it for sure, but I wouldn't say it's arcadey. At least in my opinion. Oh shit, they've completely overrun my, my dudes on this side. It's not good. They come into. I may destroy my AT gun as well. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna try and hit me, I think, from here. Make sure we get these tanks repaired ASAP. The British are wearing those tanks. That weapon. We can use it. 
You mean this? You, what, you mean this in particular? This comedy here is in particular it's cartoony? I wouldn't say it looks any dramatically different from comedy heroes too. Like I don't really see. I don't really think it looks that different from comedy heroes too. Personally, anyway. Uh, cool. Now let's move in here. Let's capture that. Make sure our engineers. Yeah, engineers are repairing the tanks, which is good. Give your assault gun up. Have you guys position yourself like here. This as well. And we'll, get, we'll start pushing this up in case we find any more juicy tanks we, re we can repair. Can we repair that? No. Well, maybe, actually. You repair some of the British tanks? Be kind of cool if we could. We need to get these engineers on one of our tanks. Let's stick our engineers like on. Oh shit, there's a AT gun here. Okay, let's run away. Oh no, we're gonna lose this. No, run! Flee, you fool! Uh, we've got your assault gun there. Now we have a brand new AT gun. I mean, I should probably go and deal with that, right? Like, having a enemy line against me is not bad. Or it's not good. Uh, I guess we'll deploy it, like, here. Uh, and I'll get another unit of Volks Panzer Grenadiers if I can. Oh, nice. I can get some more upgrades. Oh, I could also get another Panzer free if I wanted to. Uh, yeah. Yes, please. Uh, let's get a, a Assault Grenadier squad. Uh, maybe let's get another anti-tank gun. And then an Assault Grenadier squad as well. We have this. This gun is chilling. Our assault gun is fine. Let's get the assault gun up here on the hill. Because I guess they're going to counter attack, which is fine. Uh, we could also upgrade our other Panzer going to deal with a flame, which we'll do. We'll get these uh, machine guns up. This is a pretty entrenched position, if I do say so myself. And then what is this up yet? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, let's just stick the, uh, the assault gun like here, I think. It'll cover like everything. Oh, is this already destroyed? No. Another Panzer III has just arrived. Let's get that bad boy up here. Give it a flamethrower. Yeah, and I imagine this thing will just absolutely demolish. Let's get the gun off. Get the crew. Get the transport a bit further back to just get one shot. Nice. we got a new gun as well. Where is it? It's got a new pack, right? Yeah. Was this pack 38? Give a pack 38 up. Yeah, this 88 is going to shred. Like, it's not even going to be close. Oh, there's some British Gurkhas here. Be a little bit careful. But they are fighting, like, the full strength of the... Uh... The German armor. I like as well how you can use destroyed tanks as well uh, as cover. It's quite cool. I guess we'll just push up. Yeah, I mean, this is like number one. Panzer Grenadiers will be done soon as well. We'll get these guys up. Then we'll push straight through. Can we move this? Is it going to be very slow to move? It is on wheels, right? So it can move up or not? Yeah, no, it, it can't. <laughs> it has to be towed, which makes sense. Panzer Grenadiers can't deploy. Okay. Uh, it's Pioneers. We're going to be infantry. Let's go recapture the... We already have this. No, they're coming in again. Oh, my God. That 88. That 88 basically one-shot the Stuart. Oh, my God. Did you see that? It ripped right through it. Brutal. Okay, let's push up now. Bad boy tanks. Go, go, go. The assault gun can move up. The engineers can move up. The, uh, yeah, the infantry gun can move up. Oh. Actual Crusader right there. You got enough to take care of that, or do we need... You guys got that, or... I mean, this uh, flame pans are doing great. Let's turn and shoot that. Oh my god, this uh, cruiser AA is doing a pretty good job. We always have a stuker or so if we need to clear anything up. I mean, right now it's not piercing... Uh, not piercing the uh, stug. Of course, the Stug has really, really good armor so far. 
God damn, that, that command tank is like annoyingly uh, good, but I mean, it's just so focused on me there. We need to try and get some side art. Oh, there you go. That's a beautiful side armor shot. Perfect. Good job. Where's our pack gone as well? Is our pack up, pack up here now? It is. Cool. Let's get like our pack down like here. I guess we'll move up the 88. Um, so let's move up the 88. Kind of. Um, how do I repack it up? So wait for me to pack it back up. It should be right. Yeah, if I just click it. Yeah, so we'll pack that up and then we will uh, bring it over here. Now the gun is towed. Yeah, this is still under assault, but this small uh, two pounder should be enough to, to kind of defeat the incoming swarms. What do you think of the game so far? Yeah, I think there. I think it's Company Two, Company of Heroes Two in Africa with some more mechanics added in. Uh, the thing I'm most looking forward to is definitely the Total War style campaign. That isn't this campaign. There's going to be two campaigns at launch. Um, and I'm definitely more so looking forward to the... Uh, are we getting over here? I, I'm definitely looking more so looking forward to... I mean, do we need, need the AT? I guess the AT can clear here as well. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to more of the... Uh, more of the Total War style campaign than anything else. I think that's going to be really, really good and fun. Where are you guys at? Over here? Yeah, you guys push in here. Try and get in this railroad. I assume there's going to be plenty of enemies to uh, deal with. We've got the 88 guarding here. Oh, that's a little bit scary. Pull back, pull back, pull back. I mean, our pans are hitting them, but... Yeah. There you, go. you guys are fine. Oh. You guys get that throw? Probably not, right? Yeah, that's why I think that's where I think that's where we need the 88, right? Let's get the 88 like here. Now we push them back, yeah. Get the 88 there. Let's bring up the two tanks on this side. We'll leave the assault gun on the right hand side. And another panzer on this side. And the infantry gun can move up as well, just to kind of cover any infantry advances. We have a pack. Can we, we can't encamp this? No, we can't. Okay, that's fine. And when we we'll bring the 88 like here. Hey, how's it going, Apollo? How you doing, dude? Yeah, as I was saying, I think this is a very basic company of heroes too. But yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the Total War style campaign that they have. I think that looks like it's going to be good fun. Uh, so let's get the 88. I mean, we're pushing up again. It's probably a better idea to get like the 88 like here. Let's maybe just be cocky and try to get the 88 up here. There's two tanks up there. Uh, infantry gun, the pack can move up. Yeah, basically we'll just like take the, uh, the rooftop here. But 88 is a little bit scary, but now that it's it's up, as it totally go drifts its way, we'll drop it, give a truck away. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, do this and do this. I mean, we're probably way too close, right? Oh my god, <laughs> point blank. Uh, they added more eye candy at the cost of features. Yeah, I don't, don't think so. <laughs> Personally. Uh, I'm going to score a pair of this as well. I wouldn't say... Like, I would say... I would say the... The Total War style campaign that they have on this is pretty innovative. Like, that's a pretty big leap forward for single player. From what we've, we've played it as well. We played it, what, like four months ago? Three months ago? Pretty good. Can I, can I this not repair? It can't repair the ATA. Oh, that's sad. Oh, we are literally playing like slivers of the game at the moment. The MG gun up here as well. Where's the MG gun? Did I leave it behind? Yeah, we'll just let the advance happen. Oh my god, this poor Crusader AA. Oh, they actually are hitting us. Let's pull back a little bit. Keep our engineers back. We hear that? Yeah, nice. Yeah, we got the British on the run. 
Blitz Creek mod is far superior than anything Reddit can make these days. I mean, but it's a mod. Like, obviously, I don't really see why you're hating on a game that's an alpha, Dustin. Like, this looks fine, and I it, think it's going to be fun. Like, yeah, of course mods, because mods can go specifically in one direction, and they have a very, like, free thing of what they can do. Like, we have this in, in Bannerlord all the time, where it's like, oh, modders do so much more than the developers, and it's like, it's just such a... A bad mindset to, to think. Like, obviously, modders who have unlimited time and unlimited resources, not unlimited resources, but unlimited time and can do what they want at the pace they want and no budget or anyone telling them what to do. I'm sure if the developers wanted to create, you know, anything, then they could. I think it's a really silly mindset to, like, just be like, oh, well, modders are, like, far superior. Let's move up. And yeah, I think being like, oh, well, this game has no features or whatever. Like, the game's not even out. It's still five months until the game comes out. Four months until the game comes out. Is, uh, yeah. Oh, they are really coming in here as well. We've still got the fuel depot, which is nice. Probably want to bring up the ATA. I mean, the ATA is still not looking good. There'd be a assault gun facing down there. Is this what you sound like when you're talking about Warhammer? <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly what you sound like. Uh, the game isn't even out yet, so I think it's very uh, unfair to judge the game from an alpha. You can infer, and like, assume things are going to be a certain way, but you, ne you never know, right? Where is my uh, box going to do? Also, like... Again, you need to be judging the project as a whole, right? And you can't do that until the game's out. Excellent work, man. The area is secure and the British forces are cornered. Okay. Now what? Just destroy them? Total annihilation. Where's our engineers gone? We need to repair these tanks. Destroyer of drawing forces. It just seems too arcade. I hope the Grand RTS. I mean, I, I have like 150 hours in it, and I don't really feel like it's that arcadey, but also, like, that's just games nowadays. It's not really Company of Heroes. It's just games becoming... trying to break into more of a mainstream thing. Like, at the end of the day, RTS is super, super niche. And all these games are doing is just becoming more accessible to more people. And granted, that does kind of take away from the extreme hardcore fans. But, like, I think that's just what games are edging towards. I think it's much better that they do do that. Yay! And this is someone who loves hardcore strategy. But I think it's better to have more people playing a game than sticking into it. And, yeah, as I say, uh, I think the game... Uh, Company of Heroes has always been the arcadey version. Like, Men of War has been the more hardcore one. And Company of Heroes has always been more of an arcade uh, version. Okay, let's cut for British now as well. What do you want me to do? Bring up the 88? I want me to bring up the 88, right? Cool. Push up the tanks then. Give this AT gun here. Let's push in here. We'll support them with the, uh, the Panzer. And the infantry gun can go here as well. Oh, Bazooka Squad, Bazooka Squad. Back we go. Oh my god, there's so many Bazooka Squads! Okay, luckily the flame tanks took him out. Oh no, he's got some assault gun. Did I lose something or did I just get more cap? No, I lost something. I don't know what. Oh, we also have this AT gun here as well. Like, see yourself here. Yeah, them flamers are just brutal. Assault gun. My pack is chilling here. Hey, how's it going, Shaw? Have you, uh, oh my god, we're gonna hear me here on the side. 
Uh, are you gonna... Have you recorded... Oh my god, my infantry gun got slaughtered there as well. Are you gonna be playing, Miss Apollo? I'm interested if you recorded some, uh... Your playthrough. Or are you just not gonna touch, bother touching this? Oh, that's the, uh, the infantry, okay. Panzer Grenadiers should be, uh, or the assault Grenadiers should be a little bit more capable. I assume, yeah, they're going to be heavily entrenched here. So I assume there's going to be a fat off AT gun in all of these, uh, bunkers. We're going to have to worry about that a little bit. You're running back, which is fine. My crew are ready. Tear the load. We have to move. Uh, we can't use the engineers to capture this. Cool. Block off their retreat. Get ready for the assault. Uh, Jackie, you, sh you should play retro RTS games every few weeks. Uh, I mean, the problem is no one would watch it. <laughs> That's the problem. Doing something like that. Oh, these are... We have to take this and we'll come down the main road. I don't look... I don't look excited here to do that, but we'll give it a go. Goddamn Africa. Yeah, the this alpha or the game when it comes out. This alpha. Hands are going to do now up as well. Good, good, good. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I assume you're definitely going to play it when it releases. Okay, Panzer Grenadiers. So Panzer Grenadiers have some smoke grenades. They've breached. Yeah, Panzer Grenadiers have the ability to like storm houses as well. Oh, a T gun up on the hill. Going out flank back with a flame tank. Get the engineers. Wait, where are my engineers? Here. Yeah. Gonna be uh, the fat off. Uh, AT oh, there's got a machine gun squad here as well, so we need to be careful of that. Let's go here. Outflank that, bring up the other tank. They want me to tow the flak here. Which we can do. Uh, we probably also need to clear this out, but the tank is doing on this flank. Bring up the, uh, the other pack as well to cover this street. Yeah, Empire Earth was awesome. I was a big fan of that. I spent about a week watching 50 hours of Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Yeah, I mean, it's really cool. I mean, the thing is, though, it's just like not how YouTube works, unfortunately. YouTube, you can't really, unless, like, your channel was built for it, I can't really justify doing something like that. It sucks. It really does. But it's just not how my channel is designed. Do I need to actually turn it, or can we turn it on their own? Who are you guys pinned by? You guys that? Hey, hey, hey. Don't you dare talk to me like that, all that. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This tank is just blitzing his way through the burr. Yeah, I mean, I played a, an absolute butt-ton of... Uh, I played an absolute crazy amount of... Empire Earth. You guys want to hear a really funny story from my Empire Earth days? So me and my group of friends, we always used to play uh, lands uh, where we'd all get together one weekend, and there was like there was like eight of us, I think, maybe sometimes even more. Uh, but we'd all bring our PCs around one of my friends' house, and we'd sit down and we'd play our RTS games uh, like all weekend. Um, it'd be like a proper all-day land, an all-evening land, and all next day as well. Uh, and we played Empire Earth like a ton. That was like a big thing. Is that like we'd always play Empire Earth and play a bunch of mini games, like custom games in Empire Earth. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so we were all like super try hard as well. Everybody was like planning their builds, their timings. It was like super try hard, a big event every couple months we would do. And then one time, me and my other friend Zach uh, found a cheat that you could do in, in the RTS game, in, in Empire Earth, where you could spend your resource if you went on so you basically 
you would go on the tribute screen, which would pop down. So the, the, the tribute screen would pop down a resource window like here. And uh, and uh, then <laughs> then you'd be able to tribute a bunch of resources. And there was a cheat where if you tributed the amount of resources you spent, it would refund the resources. So for example, I could spawn myself. If I had 100 food, I could buy 100 villagers, go on the tribute menu, tribute that, and then cancel the tribute, and then it would refund me the food. Um, so me and my friend Zach used to do that. And we did that for a good, like, three or four lands without anybody figuring it out. And sometimes it was really awkward because we'd be, like, an age or two ahead in Empire Earth. But we'd be on, like, islands, for example, and everybody had the same resources. And a lot of people were relatively good as well, so... Um... So, so yeah, sometimes it'd be like, how the hell did you get to World War II when we're in the Renaissance still? Like, how does it even work? Like, we have the same resources. And we're just like, I don't know, I guess we just micro harder, you know? <laughs> yeah, risky. Well, we, we, we always made sure as well that we were sitting together with our PCs slightly turned away. Because obviously, if you're fighting someone, you don't want them to see what you're doing. Um, but, yeah. That was awesome. I mean, Mike, me and my friend still land. Me and my friend are landing this weekend as well. Uh, my friend is coming down this weekend, actually. We're going to play probably Hearts of Iron, some Crusader Kings. Uh, yeah, probably, probably them. Uh, but I have, I, have a, I have a very good, I have a gaming laptop that he uses me to connect up to one of my monitors. But yeah, I mean, I remember back in the day we used to walk because I lived quite cl close to one of my friends as well. And we used to pick up our PCs and walk it to the other person's house. It was quite funny. Cool. Pioneers you pioneers are set up. We got this tank here. I mean, I of course want to try and take this fuel point. So I assume the engineers will be good at doing that. Oh, that's an entrenched tank there. You guys take that? You guys have AT guns? I think you guys have AT guns, right? Luckily, that's fine. Uh, let's go take this point. Hopefully, there's no infantry here. We also have some Panzer Grenadiers, I guess we could send as well. No. This is clean taking this call. Uh, so, we know they're going to have some... They're going to probably have a tank here. So, let's... Uh, let's. Oh, we have an AT gun there as well. Let's just strafing run this, I guess. Get you guys inside the house. Yeah, cool. That will scout as well for us. We're utilizing the house. That house is dead. So, we just lost all our men. But the, the, the Stukas are coming in. Oh, a Stuka run. Oh, my God. That is deadly. We have another one of those as well. We could also bring in a light tank. Sure, let's do that. Our engineers push our way through here as well. Wait, did you guys not capture that? Why not? I want to conquer the entire map. This back there as well. Oh, yeah, this is Salt Gun as well. We should be fine. Let's take out our MG. Yeah, that strafing one was brutal. We have about another, the next tank as well. You have a light tank. Oh, look. is it an Italian tank? Yeah, it's an Italian tank. Gross. The Italian tanks are like the worst in any game. The Italian tanks are abominations. Can give it a flamer though, and also spotting. Because yeah, I mean that's gonna be pretty interesting, honestly. When it comes to, like, warfare in Africa, in the African maps. It's like, they're so vastly different to the... They're so vastly different to the Italian maps. Like the Italian maps are going to be, like, closed streets and ambush points and very mountainous areas. Where I imagine a lot of Africa, though it does have them, like, ambush areas and uh, mountain sides. It's going to be very much more so, you know, open desert you're going to have, a, have to you know, transfer soldiers over from. Is that how I feel right now, <laughs> UK? What do you require? I want an orderly advance. Okay, let's move up. But that strafing one basically killed everything. And of course, this mission is going to be super easy as well. You expect it to be easy. It's like a let people find out about the game. We used to do Empires 2 at school. Have a lot of fun. Hell yeah. 
played historical games? That sounds pretty cool. Nice. Capture this bad boy. Man, should just be the mission done unless it expands, but I don't think it does, right? We've been streaming for, what, an hour? Oh, they still want me to do something here, right? Clear. We still need to clear. Okay. God, the flame tanks absolutely shred infantry. Like, of course, this is going to be way more difficult to use. I mean, this is a Panzer free, so it is an investment. You're getting, like, a, a flat anti-infantry tank rather than a a normal tank, but still. Oh, some Royal Engineers as well. The nice thing is as well, is like, you can like, even though it's an African campaign and Italy, you can still add in like, for Russians and stuff like that as well, into the game. Because the British and the Russian, I know it's not Africa, um, but the British um, and the British and the Russians invaded Iraq and Iran and stuff, right, to secure the oil. What, like here? So let's get the AT gun up then. And what, we're gonna... Convoy destination? Like, are they coming? Where are they coming from? Here, I assume? So let's set up there. We can't entrench anywhere, unfortunately. So up here. Oh, they're coming behind us. Fuck. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm not ready. Go, go, go here. Turn this around. Can we get this in here? No, we can't. Where is our engineer squad here? Oh, they can repair houses as well? That's crazy. Oh, the Italians are coming in. Just what I wanted. Wait, what happens? So they're like here. What happens if I just do like this? If I time it right, let's just do that. Can we not do it? We can't use it on visibility on the target. Why not? I don't think it's going to let me do it. Can't strafing run either. Sag. Uh, I mean, you got enough tanks to send them packing. The ATA is going to shred them. Where are our engineers as well? Yeah. Yeah, here they come. Can we not like strafing run this? Is it just not gonna let me do it? Oh, it does. Oh my God, this is all dead. Oh, the ATA is shredding them. And then the Stugas are gonna come in. Can we strafing run this as well? I mean, it's a bit early, but yeah, we just don't need it. Holy, that British convoy got apps. Oh, there's some more of them. That's a strafing run. Oh, there's more of them. Okay. We're going to keep on coming. Oh, no. My ATA is probably going to get destroyed. That's sad. Into an Oh, I want me to upgrade this. Sorry. Oh, nice. You can convert these points. That's cool. I didn't realize you could do that. Can you do it on anything else? No, just that one. That'll be good, but I can repair... Yeah, some men. So I need to. So now I can't repair this 88. It's so juicy. Yeah, keep your bloody heads down. Uh, I don't think I can repair this, but I could probably just heal it. Yeah, they've already routed. Oh, we're just like literally running through the mad lads. Oh, we have another tank here as well. Good. Let's have a tank up there. Some battalions coming through. Oh, nice. We can get some, uh, some more soldiers as well. Oh, 
Better to die than be a coward. I mean, not technically wrong. Just remount the 88 as well, please. Oh, they actually got a proper Matilda as well. Obviously, the ATA should focus that down. Get these guys flamethrowers as well. Oh, we've already destroyed them. I mean, I, I would argue the new campaign that Company of Heroes 2 is coming out with is pretty innovative. But I guess that is on the more of a grand strategy side of things rather than RTS. True. There you go. Coming of Heroes 3. That is the alpha right there. Boom. Done. Finished. The question is, what do we do now? Do I just wrap the stream up early? Have like a an early Coming of Heroes free day and then Friday we come back with something? I do have videos to work on for this weekend, so maybe we just call it. It's a fun little hour. People can watch it back and check it out. I don't know. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. We could do. Play some Battle Lord? Eh. Uh, yeah, we could take the survey. Give my feedback. My honest feedback. This week's kind of a Battle Lord free week. Uh, and then I'm kind of waiting for 1.8 to get a big update. 1.8 is like, uh, it needs to get a beta patch. And it's taking them, what, like three weeks, four weeks to do it. So hopefully we get one soon. Uh, introduction. Okay. Where did you hear about the Company of Heroes free uh, from their Twitter? Which of the following best describes how often you play real-time strategy games? Uh, I mean, Battle Lord isn't really an RTS, but it has RTS elements. I'll say frequently. How much experience do you have in Company of Heroes franchise? Like, two, like 150, 200. Do you have experience with Borex titles? Uh, yeah, lots. Other favorite? Uh, Total War, of course. Total War Warhammer. Don't really understand. I guess they're two, they are two different games. Uh, played Age of Empires quite a bit. Frostpunk. That's it. Uh, how does your mission alpha experience compare to the real other uh, experience? Like, same-ish. Did you complete it? Yes. Uh, how much time did it take me? I mean... Because I was streaming probably 30 to 40. You've stopped modding Bannerlord right now? Yeah, I mean, I think mean, it makes sense. Like, I imagine the burnout is real having to constantly update everything 24 7. Uh, and there's no, you know, at the end of the day, I'm sure people, you know, when, when the game does fully release, if it is an October release, like, then it's just going to be much easier. To move forward. Uh, how many how many times? I mean, do people honestly fail that? Like, it's crazy if they did. Um, yeah. How do you rate it overall? As a mission? Like, I don't know, like three stars. It was fine. We're just pushing forward. Would I recommend coming to Heroes to a friend? Like, three stars. Please rate the following statement. I intend to play the full release. I do indeed. Uh, I plan to purchase the game. Is there an option for, like, I'm a YouTuber, so I get it for free? <laughs> Relic, please give me a key? Question mark? There is not. Uh, but I do plan on, on playing it at launch. I wouldn't pre-order it. Uh, what statement best describes your experience? I mean, it was easy. Of course it was. I am a pro gamer after all. Order the following items from your favorite to least. Mission objectives. Uh, I mean, faction was cool. Uh, units were cool being able to use flame tanks. Abilities weren't that exciting. Map design was cool enough. Mission objectives were okay. Graphics were okay. Story was, I guess, interesting. 
Yeah, the abilities were like, or, like you what, you know, like what did I do? Something along them lines. Graphics were okay. Objectives, I guess you're encircling the British. As a beverage, they retreat back to Brook. To Brook. Map design was cool. Storytelling was okay. Units and factions. But yeah, I mean, the mission objectives were pretty dull, actually. Probably below that. Call-ins were cool. Call-ins were cool. Put that at the top. Mission objectives are pretty dull, right? Move forward. Take this objective. Really sure. I think that game looks... God damn. That game looks like it was from 2010. That game looks so outdated and it's not even released yet. Fergus is my opinion. <laughs> Regardless of mission alpha, which statement best describes your variety mission objective? Uh, very repetitive. Because <laughs> it was. It was just move forward, take this objective. Move forward, take this objective. In general, what statement best describes your favorite real-time mission type? Uh, using abilities, positioning to win fights, holding ground and fending up enemy assaults, controlling a small group of powerful squads, capturing every territory on the battlefield, overwhelming the enemy with a big army. Uh, pretty holding the ground. Defense missions are always fun. Uh, no, using abilities to positions and fights, yeah. Probably a mix of both. Yeah, they, they dropped a trailer not like a last week crisis, I think. The game looks awful, in my opinion. Again, you can look forward to it. But it's not a game I, I'll play. It looks like it looks like it looks like it's uh it's released the same time they announced it. If that makes sense. It looks really outdated. How do you how does your overall mission gameplay experience feel compared to the previous Gump of Heroes? I mean same. I mean I guess worse because the performance is really trash at the moment. But like I feel like that's maybe too harsh. Like as many of the performance is the reason why I would say it's the worst experience. I don't say worse. Uh, what statement best describes your per, per, uh, yeah perception of enemy behavior? Um, I mean, it was just intelligent and believable. <laughs> Again, this is a knocking comedy of heroes. AI is extremely hard and it's an RTS game in an alpha that's designed for people not to get their asses kicked. But I don't think... I. I don't think I would describe any strategy game any any strategy game with intelligent and believable with AI. Uh, yeah, I mean, they just ran into my guns, right? <laughs> like, what do you mean to say? The AI, the AI just ran into my guns. Uh, should I zoom in on this a bit more so you guys can see it a bit more? Is that better? Uh, and then we have, uh, what statement best describes your satisfaction for missing out for graphics? I mean, it's okay, I guess. Maybe a bit unsatisfying. It didn't look that great. The artillery strike was cool. Okay, how's that side with the Grunnerman? The environment art, I think that was fine. The lighting was fine. Environment distraction was cool. Light medium vehicles. I guess I was satisfied. I don't know. What would I say here that wasn't? Yeah, I guess maybe this stuff is like not as good. Then. But I mean, like all the tanks and stuff looked fine. The soldiers looked fine. Unit readability looked fine. Dynamic unit damage was a bit. Mm, it's cool, but I didn't even notice in the weathering, so I guess that. Portraits were fine, and UI readability was fine as well. So I guess overall I was probably satisfied. If you look at this spread, I guess I wasn't actually like unhappy with the graphics. I mean, I didn't even notice the unit damaging weathering, so that's be kind of bad. And yeah, I guess like in the environment wasn't that bad. Can I take back what I said then? Uh, is there anything else you'd like to share? <laughs> yes. Please make key binds to move around the map, not arrow keys, and make it W A S D. Dot, dot, dot. It is 2022. <laughs> is that the passive aggressive? 
Is that is that is that passive passive aggressive? Should I should I not put my last part? Make an enemy out of the arrow keys, Cole. It's 2022 crisis. I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to sit here and say, but yeah, arrow keys are good. I don't even, like, I, I, I shouldn't even have arrow keys on my keyboard. Uh, yeah, we've, we've played the mission already. It was only like an hour long. So yeah, if you were here for Uncommon Heroes 3, uh, that's going to be it. And we'll probably wrap up the stream in a bit as well. I don't think we'll go long. I'll go work on some of the videos I need to need to do. Like, come on. Like, I think I've used arrow keys for a game in the past, like, like a game that recently came out in about 10 years. I'm sure they'll have an option. They'll, they'll 100% have an option to change it. But it should just be default. Like, who uses arrow keys? My keyboard is a 65% keyboard. But honestly, I could easily go down to like a 50, 55%. Is that the next one down? 50% keyboard and just not have arrow keys. I'm going to say, I'm not going to put it, it's 2022. That's too passive aggressive. Yes, please make key binds to move around map, not arrow keys. Make it WASD. I'm sure they'll have an option on launch to change it or have it by default. But it's crazy to me. Crazy to me that it is just embedded. I guess they just maybe haven't changed it from their port from Company Heroes 2. But still, that's crazy. Crazy. There you go. Uh, any battle tips I missed maybe? Let's let's see the battle tips quickly. Is there any anything I missed out on? Okay, I'm already bored. It took too long. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that took way too long. Uh but yeah, if you guys haven't seen it, I uh I did play the previous um alpha. Uh, here, we go here. Uh, yeah, previously they had this really cool, uh, uh, so this is the other part of the game right here. That is, so basically you go in and you can play as a British, you can play as the Americans or combined. Uh, and you have like different bonuses, like the British get more uh, artillery on the campaign map. And you play on this like big, uh, you play on like this big campaign map where you're moving around divisions, calling in reinforcements and stuff, which is super cool. And you have command points. I would love for this to be multiplayer. Like this would be uh, really cool. Uh, and then like you, like these are just garrison detachments. There, yeah, like you find like a, a proper division. So you can like attack them, but the division can get wounded and stuff. As you push up and it like hampers your abilities. But then like when you when like a detachment hits another detachment, then you jump in and you like play the battle out with that detachment. And like this is all like Monte Casino style. So like you play the battle, and then if you win the battle, you progress on the campaign map. But this would be really cool as a multiplayer campaign. Like it's ultra cool. Yeah, like I won this battle. Yeah, battles won. And there's like a good variety of missions as well. And like you conquered like extra land and stuff. Which was super cool. So uh, this is what I'm this is what I'm mainly looking forward to in the game. Yeah. I think this will be like the, the main selling point for me personally. Playing through the uh, the campaigns. Will be cool. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's where we're going to wrap things up. Um, I think we'll wrap things up here. A bit of a short stream. But as I said, I've got, I got a few videos to record for the weekend. Um, and also tomorrow has a special embargo video. So look forward to that. Uh, you ever played a game called Kingdoms on Steam? Uh, no, I don't think I have. Have a look. How crazy is it as well? Is I, I, I don't trust going on Steam. Uh, I don't trust going on Steam to search for a game because there's so much hentai on Steam. Uh, I can't see it on Steam. Watch of Empires? No. 
bunch of mobile games, Kingdom Classic. Can it come Deliverance? <laughs> Classic of the game. Posting the game members on the Discord. Uh, no. I have never seen this game before in my life. Has mixed reviews. Oh, the game got abandoned. F. Major sad. Wonder why it got abandoned. Kind of got that, that. Sorry, you guys can't even see this. Kind of got that. Medi uh, kind of got that. Ban Lord style as well. Sad they got abandoned, but it was only seven pounds as well. Don't you have an 18 plus filter? No, crisis. It's because I buy all the hentai games, so they get recommended to me. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the game looks kind of cool, but obviously it got abandoned, so probably not something I, I will look at. But thank you for the suggestion. Probably ran out of funds, yeah. Most likely. No, you started updating it? Well, I'll definitely keep an eye on it, Ben. That is the case. Uh, also, by the way, if you are planning on pre-ordering Company of Heroes 3, I think because of Relic or Sega, so I should probably be able to get a good referral link from them. So definitely hold off on, or just buying the game at launch, hold off on uh, on checking out the game, as I'll probably have a, a, key, uh, a code for it. Uh, but yeah, cool. I'll wrap things up here. I'm going to go uh, record some videos for the weekend. Uh, I've got some cool stuff coming up. I've got one video which will probably be uploaded on Saturday of me ranting about noble troops in Bannerlord. So if you want to wanna have a 10 minute Jackie Fish rant, then stick around for that. Uh, that'll be on probably Saturday. Tomorrow is an embargo video. Friday, we're going to be back. and I don't really know what I'm going to be playing. I might be playing some War Tales on Friday. This feels like kind of like a Bannerlord free stream week. Um, I might go and play some Total War. I haven't, I haven't really played Total War, so I might go back and do like a bit of a DEI play for a bit. I might play, start a DEI campaign as someone could be kind of fun. I know Age of Engine Empires recently got an update. Uh, yeah, because we're, we're kind of building up right now for a, uh, for a big Bannerlord, uh, campaign. So I don't mind too much that we're not kind of smashing Bannerlord at the moment. And also we're waiting for 1.8 to get a, a beta patch update as well. Which has to be soon, right? Because... Yeah, the last beta hotfix was, was a month ago. The 16th. So literally a month ago in three days. So I can only imagine we're going to be getting a big hotfix at 1.8 soon. Yeah, for sure. Uh, either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm going to keep this kind of just its own segregated thing. I'll put timestamps to people who just want to go ahead and watch the, uh, the campaign itself. Uh, and yeah, we're going to wrap things up today. Again, a very short stream, but I appreciate everybody who dropped by. Again, make sure you check out the merch if you haven't already. Uh, I appreciate that. And I will see you guys, uh, yeah, on on Friday. We'll be back Friday again. It'll be a proper four-hour stream. Might be playing some War Tales. Kind of build like continuing on our War Tales campaign. Uh, and then next week, it'll be Bannerlord. Non-stop, baby. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and yeah, fish out. Oh, look at your boy as well. Top gifter as well. Get wrecked.